hey beautiful people how are you guys doing hope you are doing fine and keeping safe welcome back again to my channel this is loving Oviti youtube channel guys to the returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video thank you for always coming back to watch this mama sira guys yeah thank you for your love and your support and if, and if it is your very 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 first time coming across this amazing channel kindly don't leave if you have not subscribed don't forget that is the most important thing to give the video a big thumbs up guys we are coming live from my place my premises yeah and uh, yeah my home if you're new here this one was my home it is it's called a multi-billion dollar home but for now it's helping us in so many ways because there is this special mama in my life wants to come and spend his or her night here first before we demolish it yes but now we have a home it's called lavish villa show them my home we have lavish home yeah you see how beautiful it is yes and we have bosco there sleeping resting and waiting for us to cook yes and the other side we have our friend mr joseph is doing his thing in the farm and here is mama sira from africa so today guys i just want to uh, cook for my people beautiful meal for them to taste and tell me how they feel about my meal yes i've appreciated my people i've already appreciated them thank you for always coming to watch back watch my video guys what are we going to cook today what you are going to cook today is we have some rice here it's not an advertisement but the company if you are willing to give your your girl uh an endorsement who am i to say no who am i to say no if you want to give me some endorsement yeah we want to build a lot of things we want even our multi billion dollar home it's not here so if you give me an endorsement it will be a plus for me mama africa yeah guys without further ado we have uh i've already um put in some water here just come nearer and show them my water is here and it's already boiled you can see how boiled it is i'm just using a normal jiko guys don't worry about my jiko giving birth did this my my boys broke this i don't know how they did it so guys we want to prepare rice and because rice we just want to prepare it normally guys just a simple a simple way that means that huh? Uh, just a minute michelle is telling me that my phone has overheated just let me do this then we let it relax so i'll add in some salt just a bit guys and then with some oil if you have uh this is just white rice so we add in some oil yeah and then we let it boil uh-huh after it has don't worry about this these are uh, onions i think i used the same spoon so we let it boil meanwhile when it's boiling let's let's wait our how is it called let's let the oil cook well because it's this oil that have been melted together so we let it cook well and then is our my phone that hot 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 don't put uh, your hand in the camera my oh my god <laughs> michelle is putting her hand in the camera just a minute let's do this so I'll wash my rice, guys. Uh huh. I don't know if it, this is so too much. And you can just do a half of it. Yeah. That one will be enough for us. Uh huh. This one will be enough. So you wash it, guys. There is different types how to cook rice. You can cook it like pilau form. You can add in some spices. You can just cook how you want, but this is just a simple re recipe for Mama Sira that is in the village and we don't have um, that uh, a lot of, um, how do we call it? We don't have a lot of spices and for me, you just know, I don't have a lot of spices in my food. It makes me have a lot of breakouts in my body. My skin is so sensitive. So yeah. You wash it as, as, as much as you can with a lot of water, yeah? Guys, do you, do you, you can you imagine that it rained yesterday, but it doesn't look like it rained. It's so hot. The weather is so hot. It rained all, the whole night. 
it was from 10 no it was from 4 in the morning 4 a.m until now so i think my you see that come and show them my soy my salt and uh cooking oil it's already boiled and it's now uh ready so i add in my rice like that okay i add in my rice like that and let it cook well okay. i hope the rice will not disappoint me there are these rice that if you buy in the supermarket they just break yeah they just break but I hope this one will not break that much. We don't leave anything. We take literally everything out until our ancestors say that. Lavin, it's now enough. <laughs> we don't leave anything. <laughs> yeah. So you mix well with your... Um, you mix well with your... Uh, how is it called? You let the sol salt dissolve well with your rice. It's already dissolved with the oil and then you just cover and let it cook we need to add in some how is it called we need to add in some charcoal so meanwhile guys stay tuned we are let our phone at least uh, relax and then we show them what next so guys uh when our rice is cooking i've showed you how to do so we have this garbage guys something happened to me yesterday I've explained it, but that thing really hurts me until now to the core. My cabbage that I did inter uh, content with yesterday and I had beautiful reaction from my baby's neighbor. But anyway, it's okay. So I was left with this cabbage. That is what we want to cook using. So we wash it well as much as you can, guys. Because for us, we have free water. So we just use how we want it, yeah? So this is how we do it here. Uh -huh. Michelle, are you seeing me well? Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'll just cut them into pieces. Uh -huh. Don't you catch the light? So yeah, we have to be here in the sun because of the lighting for people to have quality video. Yeah, guys, so this is how we do it. Popo chek, kuroma nari. Apo guli. Oko chek a inya. Sa. Amu kate kabi. Eh? Kate kabi. Ebule. Ha! To one camera, guys. <laughs> Anyway, I was asking Mama Michelle about her popo. Let me see whether it's that ripe. I don't like ripe potato. Yeah, this one is is good. So, so you want me to cut? Yeah. Uh, what? Let me wash first. Imagine from Africa, from our trees, just free of charge. My indicating you chiroto pesadi. God. So she's saying that if you go and buy this in the market, it's like 150 Kenyan shillings. 150 Kenyan shillings, that is like uh, 5 cents, 5 USD, if I'm not wrong. Because now the dollar is 137. As per yesterday, I don't know what about today. I don't know. So how do I cut it? In the middle? Wow! You see that? Hey, and it looks delicious. Just see that. Guys. This is... Maginyalo, kapito nyaluti. So I'm asking her whether... I take one or an add piece more. And you take two moja. You take moja? Back it one moja. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So this one will be enjoyed with Michelle and uh, Mr. Joseph. So this seeds will work. How do you want to work? I want to work. I want to work immediately. As in my... I want to work. I want to work. I want to work. I want to work. I want to I'm asking her how is it done so that it can grow in my space. Mr. Joseph, you wait a wait. Uh. Uh. 
it uh. was, I let them dry, cook a, a kettle. Yeah. So guys, I'm asking about how I can plant them because I want popo in future. This is a hundred, some people even sell 200 Kenyan shillings. You can imagine how beautiful that is. Just see. Oh my God. Welcome to Africa. You see, I'm not coming to the city anytime soon. So let us leave it here. We will enjoy it after, after we are done. Anyway, my peeps, back to our video. So I just let it here. No, let me throw those ones. Uh huh. So you see our rice. Done. So, guys, this is how we just cut our cabbage. Somebody, our uh, cool kids will be like, Lavin, why, why don't you have chopping board? <laughs> we just do this. this. If you do this, it goes so fast compared to using chopping board. As for me, I don't know. Everybody got their own preference. Let me say that. So we are done with that, and then we cut this one. It's rainy season in Africa, but the, the veggies are very expensive. Like this one, the whole uh, the whole cabbage I bought at uh, 50 Kenyan shillings. Imagine, 50, and it's rainy season. So I don't know whether the in the market those guys take advantage of us. I don't know. I don't know whether they are saying that, Lavin, you need to. You need to plant your things, I don't know. But they are very, very expensive. Very, very expensive. They are very expensive. Anyway, they are healthy because uh, our body needs veggies. You know in Africa you can't eat any food without veggies. Majority of the homes, so many people in the homes, they can't eat uh, cabbage without the veggies. It can't happen. So we are done. We just throw them in the farm. Because they, when, they uh, when they get rotten, they become manure, right? Michelle? Yes. When they become manure, yes. you are the, the one who is still schooling. Yeah, so our cabbage is ready. Is ready. Uh, what we are going to do next is these carrots. Uh -huh. You see, we have to add in some more carrots. It will make it uh, so sweet. And uh, when I was in Nairobi, these carrots were very cheap. It was carrot season. But here, I don't know. These people don't like carrots. I don't see people even in the in the market there are not so many guys you know in africa we have 42 tribes and there is every tribe got their own uh, staple food yes or every tribe got their staple food and uh, they also have some uh, different kind of where they what they plant most in their farms so for us for me in my community here uh, we plant we plant, we plant mostly, uh, guys, you know, I don't like uh, vlogging people's kids without their concept. You know, we are in the village, guys, and uh, you never know uh, what their parent will say when they see their kids online. So I always try as much unless they agree or I'm... Um, I'm so close to the mom or the dad, I can just vlog their babies. But because I've seen a lot of YouTubers that have landed into a uh, problem with the neighbors, the villagers, about the video vlogging people. Him, uh, let me say, just there, you have good intentions, but people got harder. Um, they have, uh, they are not, they are not, they are not pure hearted you know what i mean so i always try my best not to land in problems i hope you understand i always try my best i don't like landing into problem guys because 
I have a lot of my problems whereby if I land myself into people's problems, it will be something that uh, it's not good, yeah? So yeah, that is why what I do, just pour them in the farm. So that baby is still young and uh, he wanted to appear and I was like, just hold him with good heart though. Because I know, I know, I know my community people how they are. Because not so many people are used to this kind of life of content creation, guys. You know what I mean? They are not used to this content creation. You see, even in Nyabohansi, people are like, uh, these are Illuminati things. You know, people just spill, spill a venom. People just speak so bad about content creation. So I don't want to get myself to that because I have, um, I'm high tempered and also I have small heart. Let me say that. I don't like somebody crossing my boundaries. Yes, so I had to clarify that because some people will be like, Lavin, why? That is a baby. No, 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 no. You have to uh, respect everybody's boundary. So, guys. Here we have our carrots. I'm grinding them. Are they, they are the ones that I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to use them to cook. It's like a stew. I'm going to make it be a stew with my my rice. Thank you, Mom. I will think craft. You see, now I'm using your table. No more. How do we call it? No more cooking down. Your table, your table is really, really helping us big time. Yes. We are in Africa and we are cooking rice with cabbage and some carrots. Yes. We want to enjoy ourselves. You know this kind of meal. Some homes they just cook during. You want to see? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, guys, you know some meals like this, they are always just cooking some homes during special occasion or special holiday. Yes. Not so many people love them in this state because they feel that it's lighter compared to ugali and um, veggies. Yeah. You know what I mean? But for me, every food I can just sleep with. I can just have and sleep, no problem. But for men, they have to eat. Ugali, our rice is ready, Michelle. Come and show them. Okay. Our rice is, is cooked. I hope it's well cooked. We don't let it be with a lot of water. Yes. We have to have a lot of that storm cooked until the case goes out. You just let it. Even the phone is overheated. It's vital. Yeah. I think our uh, our rice is ready. Come and show them. is ready so we'll just, just let it here pizza beans oh jesus what are we going to cook next we want to cook some some cabbage so yeah we add in some oil just a bit of oil And then the other side, we have to cut some onions.
and then should we add some i don't i don't want some tomatoes why huh why i don't like tomatoes in my food but let me just put one I just wanted to do it natural, but let me put one. You can do without tomatoes. You just steam. Do you know how to steam? You just steam with, uh, with some onions, oil, and salt. But for just the way you want it even if you don't have tomatoes you can just use it just normal way so don't stop cooking because you don't have tomatoes no 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 don't stop Today we have some black pepper. We want to add in some a little bit of black pepper. Just let it for you to taste. And then of course some salt. Just put next to your oil. Are you seeing Michelle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To make it be golden brown. Let it cook. I don't know how long it is. Oh God, it has just an oil. Just let it cook. Yeah, do. Yeah, do. So yeah, Michelle, come and show them. Our tomatoes are well cooked. You see that? Just show them. It's well cooked. So what we add next is this. You see that after we have add in our carrots like that so what next are we going to do we are going to wash our cabbage again of course it was washed but we, for me i have to wash because cabbage has this weird smell so i have to wash and the smell to go away We don't let it cook that much because we want the nutrients we want to fill the nutrients in these veggies yeah so adding in some carrots is also a plus for it. When you cook this to your husband in this our community, they'll tell you that you're cooking me for me food that are meant to the other community. Those are the kikuyus. They love, love, love cabbage with the... Let's cover with it, this one. Uh, they love, love cabbage with uh, potatoes. You can also add in some potatoes here. here. This, uh, that is, uh, yeah, the potatoes, the French food potatoes. It's Irish potatoes. It's called Irish potatoes, right? Irish waru. It's Irish potatoes, yeah. 
yeah you can add in some irish potatoes if you want just as per your taste guys so yeah and then we'll have our pudding that is our popo and it, you can also eat it with avocado guys after you prepare this and you serve well you do good presentation you can also have it with avocado but unfortunately today we don't have ripe avocado these are not yet ripe so it was i was just showing you it was just for representation guys yeah and also i have my beetroots here these are beetroots guys you know i love salad of late since i got sick and i'm also trying to regain my my health and also my body back because guys i lost a lot of weight from 75 to 65 10 kg that is a lot a lot a lot of kg so these are beetroot guys you know how it's eaten if you have cucumber you have tomatoes and also so unfortunately we don't have cucumbers here i've looked in the market we don't have them here maybe i'll get them in the supermarket so this one you can also use do this this one you peel well then you grate you put this and you also put some sprinkled onions and avocado and also you put in some vinegar it tastes so 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 good but unfortunately we don't have cucumbers if you mix them with cucumbers there is some good taste in your mouth guys you know what i mean you know what i mean by that so it's well cooked i just want to wash this plate i don't have a lot of plates but we'll get them soon I need to wash some plates and then I serve my pizza. You see how it looks good? So let us let it cook, guys, because we are in the village and our people are used to that cooked food. They are not used to this crunchy, crunchy food that uh, you eat and then you feel some crunchiness in your mouth. They believe that it's not, it's not yet well cooked, yeah? But for me, I know it gives me a lot of nutrients and that is how what the body wants when it comes to veggies my people so yeah let's wash our plates and i just this to the table guys family our cabbage is already cooked come and show them Michelle. it's already cooked as you can see and it looks so delicious me if i cook i don't taste but for this one because i want to give my visitor visitors i have to at least taste and see whether the salt has is enough or not mm. it's delicious so let's start with um mr Diosu for, for him to tell us how does it taste is it yummy or it's just a a by the way is it yummy i don't know whether you hit My god, just look at them how they are staring here. <laughs> it's already cooked. And also Ooh, why are you behaving like that? Bad manners. So who, who am I going to start with? Should we start with Mr. Joseph or we start with Michelle? I want to start with Michelle. Michelle comes here. No, let me take part. Because before you guys, so let's pray for the food. Father God, thank you for this. Before we take it, bless us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It's so hot. I 
don't want to say my reaction first. I want to share with Stella. For me, it's yummy, yummy and sweet. I wish I had ripe avocado. It could be here. It could taste heavenly. You know what we mean by heavenly? So, Michelle, come. Why are you saying that you don't want to be seen in camera? You don't want people to see your beautiful face. <laughs> which school are you? You told me you are a musician, right? Yes. You want to... Which kind of music do you do? Uh, gospel or locals? Uh, gospel. gospel. Yeah. Do you have like uh, some songs that you have produced or it's when you are starting? I have no, I have not produced songs. Uh -huh. But I have that I have, I, I have wrote. You have written, right? Uh huh. So how many are they? There are eight. Eight? Yes. Can you just give us a glimpse of your song? Just one song. Just sing for us one. Okay. One uh -huh. of them is uh, of New Year. Uh huh. And, uh, just, just, it's okay, just sing. Then in Swahili. Okay, let me start. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Lakini mimi bado niko hai Hayo yote ni kwa wema wako Ni mwaka mpya Kila kitu kinafaa kiwe kipya Kama mungu wa mekupa uhai Unafaa uburudike Ya badilishe matendo yako Ya badilishe mienendo yako Kamu nata kamu kahu uwe bolam, goti chini rudi kwa mungu. Oh mimi si jali pa chochote, ili nifike hapa nilipo. Si jeshi na wali yowa gonjo, wana uishi hospitali ni, wali yowa gasi jawa shinda. Tu kosa wasi si sote mbele zako, baba na sima sante. Wow. Wow. Wow, you hear that? You are so talented. I love your voice, Michelle. Mm -hmm. Keep being you, keep doing you. For now, just concentrate with your uh, studies. But uh, when God opens the door for you, you can't block them. You can succeed anytime. So just believe in yourself because, yeah, that is all that I can tell you. When your time will reach, it will. It, no one will say no. Yeah, that is what I can tell you. And uh, thank you so much. Guys, what Michelle is trying to sing is it's just like a Happy New Year song whereby she's saying that uh, thank you God that you have uh, for all this year you have taken care of me and uh, I have not paid you anything. May praise and honor go back to you. That is what Michelle is trying to say. And also she's saying that uh, we are... Uh, we are um, uh, sinners and we should go back to the Lord. Yeah, guys, that is what she It's just a worship song and so emotional because even I've shed some tears. Yeah, so yeah, Michelle, apart from that, how is our rice and cabbage? Ah, mm -hmm. The food is so delicious, I can say that. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's so delicious, right? Yeah. So, guys, let's dig in. I'm also enjoying here, and Mr. Joseph has, has hide, um, a be, how do you call behind our villa you know he's a man and of course we have to respect his privacy when he doesn't want to appear in the in the camera we respect him right so he's at the back there he enjoying his and yeah we are also enjoy, uh, enjoying ours and Bosco is here taking care of us with our beautiful brown chicks yes we are in the village you know what we mean so guys, we want to take some pudding after we have taken our meal. We are done and dusted. It's long since 
it's long since i ate this popo so i want to give it a try it's long my grandpa is the one that used to give me this when i was young when i visited Sorry, you almost fell. It's so safe. The good thing is that it's not GMO, it's just from the farm. Family, thank you for watching until this particular point. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You are God's favorite child. Let no one tell you otherwise. We are done. So it's just I want to clean our mess. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Michelle, did you enjoy your meal? Yes. You want to take some purple? So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Raw life from Africa, raw life from Kenya in Africa. Don't worry about my belt. This is Raphael's belt. You know this this African attire sometimes misbehaves you can just get it it flips like this and you know i'm a big mom i'm a big mama soon we'll be mother-in-laws so we have to have some good legacy <laughs> you know what we mean guys thank you for watching until thank you for watching until this particular point i love you guys so much thank you subscribe comment like and share and of course, you are God's favorite child. Let no one tell you otherwise. Bye, 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 bye. See you on my next video.